Well, it's the next day. This place is a dump. We've got uh, the tub out. I changed my mind. The tub was ugly. So we flipped it up this way, drug it out there, flipped it up on a two-wheeler, drug it out this way. There's the two-wheeler, hand truck, whatever. I put it out on the side of the road last night and it's gone. I couldn't be happier. So I'm glad somebody could use it. I just wanted it out of here. I ordered another tub, it'll be here tomorrow. I got a steel porcelain enamel, I think is what they call it, right-handed. So today, I've got to finish putting in the joist here to hold the tub, then the plywood over it, etc., etc. So anyway, I've got a lot of cleanup. It is just filthy, filthy, filthy filthy in here. Then I still haven't finished the insulation. I got to tape that down. I use that foil tape. Where is it? There it is. That you would use on uh, air ducting, I guess. It is super sticky. I just about didn't have any meat left on my fingers when I got through. So I've got to finish that today. I also changed my mind about this wall. When I went in there, there was already two layers of uh, like Luon type paneling. And if I added another one, that would be a third. So I tore all of it down. I tore that down all the way across and that. So I'm gonna put up new, new walls there. I said, I'll just take the old ones down. I didn't want a depth discrepancy. So, and I'm having a devil of a time with the kitchen. I can either do dishwasher and a little bit of cabinet, sink, range, refrigerator, which leaves me with zero back up bottom cabinet space except for under the sink it's pathetic so I don't know what to do about that this I'm not sure I think I'll just pull all of it out just run cabinets over it I don't know what to do with that little space maybe I'll just put a wall over it I don't know but I can get some uppers to hit the ceiling and go down and I might make a wall of storage over here this is in the living room dining room area I'm gonna do a little banquette right here but I figured I could put some wall cabinet up there and even though the pantry would be way over there um, it's better than not having any at all so I don't know if I have really room for an island it'll kind of come out toward the living room I don't know We'll see. If I do, I'll just get the 15 inch depth, you know, depth so it doesn't encroach on the living room. But I've got a lot of cleaning up to do today. A lot. This room back here is a dump. I usually do better than this. <laughs> yeah. It's a mess. I'm ashamed. It's no wonder I can't find anything in here. Oh, and I bought a new 30 inch stove. That's not it. Keeping the refrigerator and I bought a new glass top range. That's a standard size. I said that already. Something else. Oh, dishwasher. I bought a dishwasher. So they're out in the shed. Still need to work on the air conditioning there and in the bedroom.
It's a uh, foil paper on this side, then foam in the middle, and then the light stuff you see here. And it's uh, really lightweight. That's two fingers, and you just cut it with a box cutter. And it's, I think, three point. Let me look. Three point six. R value for a quarter inch. Three point six. Yo, it's a half inch. Half inch. <coughs> Living here in Florida, you don't need a whole whole lot. I mean, the heat's kind of rough. But the cold is not that big a deal. So I thought I'd just, since I'm gonna rent it and pay the electric and water, because they charge an astronomical rate, 350 for a deposit, that every little bit would help with uh, uh, electric. So that's the plan. Good. Now I have, oops, yeah. Now I have room to nail a border and a piano hinge to cover that. Well, I have to go that way. And uh, can't see. Sorry, I'm a little bit off. Oh no, I'm at an angle. There we go. There. You know, that looks better in person than it does on video. There we go. So, that'll do. I just gotta be this good when I cut the wood to go on the walls.
that way. Let's get this side without killing myself. There's one. Wing it, I can't find it. Yep. I can't believe something this small has gotten me this drunk. But it does. Sure does. The blade, I don't think, is thin enough.
do me this way. Good, the screw broke off. Hallelujah. Done. All right. Oh my gosh, almighty, it's hot.